Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to the video. Now, in this video, I looking at the last set I'm making on Bazillion because I go through all of its abilities. This one I'm going to be using Marksman. Now I'm using Fuck Up, Nose Dive, Baneful Bash, and Adaptive Assault. Pretty basic, most sets are gonna be having these moves along with either a barter, dodge, buck up, or power focus, depending on which one you're running. But we're gonna be running very nimble. I've had this one for a little while. Um when I was going through Varies to try to, um, you, whenever I uh, find a personality, I go through all my Varies to see if I have one that matches it. This one matched it perfectly. And, yeah, crits, critical hits deal increased damage. With Buck Up, we're going to be dealing a lot of damage. And with our Very Nimble, we're going to be outspeeding a lot of our threats. Now, here's our speed. Now, I tried going Very Nimble 200 to try to outspeed Hunter. Hunter will outspeed you by one, so I would not risk it. And... Here are the TPs. 56 health is just for some bulk. Okay, 28 energy is so you get to 260, 270. So you can use one buck up and then you are at 250. Uh, why is it lagging? Okay, and then 200 melee attacks just so we do as much damage as we possibly can. And 56 melee defense so we don't die to Moodygon's Quick Punch nor 100 Chili Chomp. 100 might KO us. 60% of the time for at full health. If not, we're going to get o code. And 60 speed, you outspeed Nimble 200 Metronet, Nimble 200 Duskit, Nimble 200 Tatab, um, and other threats. Like Those are the things I wanted to outspeed to be able to Oko, so we wouldn't get hypnotized or Jutsu. Jitsu. Most other brawler types are going to be able to outspeed and really hit them really hard with Nosedive, Bane, Hobash, Adaptive. But, yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully you're excited. Let's, let's hop into the battle. All right, go into the first battle now. Oh my god, I was sitting there for so long trying to find it. You have no idea how long I was just sitting there waiting for a battle. That took way too long. But yes, I'm excited. It seems pretty decent in this fight. Us being able to take down, being able to take down that, take down that. Take that take, we're gonna be able to take down a lot of his team. Pretty much the only things we're going to be able to take down are going to be the Protagon and the Ember. So, we're definitely just going to do that. Definitely going to bring that. And you. We could lead with it. So we are very nimble. Remember that. We are very nimble, so we're going to be able to speak quite a lot. So, we're going to do this. He leads with Buzzle, dude, which is really, really good. I mean, I can set up my buck up. Then go for Baneful Bash, because I don't want to take much recoil damage. Thank you to Oofigator, actually. He gave me two energy shards to shard this thing. We got, like, 22 energy. Perfect. Hmm. Everything seems to be a little laggy. I don't know what this is, but it's kind of lagging. Not, not sure if you could tell, but... Doesn't Baneful Batch have a chance to crit? Yeah, we're just upping our crit chance. And if we get a crit, we're gonna be dealing a lot of damage. Yep, I like that. And we're gonna be ignoring defense boosts, so. versus that so I'm swapping out there chili chomp himber now listen I was sending requests to literally everyone in the servers this this probably took me like 10 minutes to find a battle it's ridiculous I'm trying to send a request to everybody they don't accept it because I'm scary I don't get why though I'm not that scary I could go into Naima so easily here Now I'll go to Naima. What? Oh my god. Okay. I'll be back in 10 minutes when I find another battle. 
Why? Alright, here we go, into the next battle. Now, if... No, this guy was level 67. That right? Oh my god. I mean, it does good here. We do get walled up by Dibor, which is unfortunate. So, we want to be a little careful that, but Dibor cannot hit us very hard, but we can get Dibor from the so... Let's do this. I'm gonna do the skill off. And I guess, uh... I want to make- I'm gonna make a very brawny, um... Actually, I'm gonna do a Swolder showcase soon, that or another Terrafly showcase, but... Time will tell. I'm just gonna leave with it again. It's gonna get a decent lead. I'm just gonna kill that Tariti. We good. What level is this guy? Okay. Well, you know, we all make mistakes. Now, our adaptive assault probably does not kill this Vesper Doctor here. Well, it's because we are not brawny, so. We'll probably go for a buck up. I mean, I guess I misread the name. Thought of course this guy. All right. Well, we can crit anyway and deal a lot of damage. Ooh, perfect. He revivaled. All right. I want to see if we can get a crit because we deal increased damage. I was doing calculations, and if you have a Mudagon with like no melee defense, no health investment, then it can Oko with. Um, the jab attacks, that's a strong gimme. You can do very brawny marksman with buck up, but I'm not sure how well that would work. If I don't crit here, this game is completely good. Uh, double crits. Hmm. I'm curious how much damage we actually do to it. My god. It's a move. Punch is a move. Shouldn't die to this. We good. Again, let's go. Okay, so I was looking on. So I got this random Twitter notification for my eat your face, and it said um he made the most the most hated um Lumine list. I'm like interesting. So I click on it, and it's a tier list that kind of makes sense. Only thing I disagreed with was why is um. I think it was Falkyrie was above Zulong or something. I can definitely say Falkyrie's good. I'd say my rank of starters would go um, Luminami, um, that's Bra 2, Falkyrie, Zulong, Tier Knight, and Tatab. And no, not, no, I forgot about Himber. I always forget Himber exists. Um, no, I would go Luminami, Vespera 2, Falkyrie, Himber, um, Zulong, Tier Knight, and Tatab. I think. Zulong at this point's like in the middle. Did I crit? I wasn't looking. <laughs> well, this is working out. But, like, I don't want people to think I don't like Falkyrie. Like, that I put Falkyrie low on tier lists because I don't like him. I don't do that. I just don't think it's the best. That's all. So, not my fault. Okay, then. We're gonna get two forfeits today. You know, that's fine. Alright, here we go. Into the next battle. Now... Okay, I'm gonna stand realistically, only thing that's gonna be able to kill us is gonna be the Oxidrake. Pretty much everything else we can hit really hard, besides maybe Bloat, but with our crits, with Marksman, we should be able to take that thing out. And from there, we just click Adaptive on pretty much everything. Like, I see it being really good here, I just cannot mess up, that's my problem. I should have paired it with another Health Gifter, but I didn't. I don't have Festifer, so I can't really counter that blow. Talks very well. Every single time I don't do battle with Festifer, I always fight these kind of teams. You know that Festifer do amazing against. Like I could just send the Festifer in on that blow, click Earthquake every time. Everything's super effective besides Tatab, and Tatab does not want to swap in on a risky Ice Hammer. Okay. Let's 
do that. I need to kill Bloat, and I win. Lead with Infernix, that's not too bad. Who, who said- I actually have seen Sh Shang-Chi, or Shang-Chi, whatever you want to call it. Shang-Chi. Um, I've seen that movie, like, two days ago. That was possibly the- I think that's in my top three favorite Marvel movies. These are really, really good. Fire Red? No, burn up for trap removal. Okay, but, um... It was really, really, really Like, I would recommend going to watch it, because of- like, that was a good movie. It was actually the first time you guys have missed for me in a while. Why are you going for Shrew Blast? Fire Breath would have been the way better option there, buddy. Okay. Well, I can trap, and then I can Soul Drain. Swap into Zulon? Tab? Huh? What was the plan? Well, I can expect a Bushwhack to come out, and I can go into Bazolin. So I'm gonna do. I really hope she does not click Jungle Jitsu. We good. We good. All right. Now I'm just gonna click my Baneful Bash. We're actually gonna take that a lot better than a Bushwhack. Ah. Perfect. Now that Jungle Jitsu, we're a little afraid of, but with Very Nimble, we're gonna be out of speed if it's Nimble 200. Very nimble Tatab. I don't even think that'll be able to kill us, but yeah. It is dead. Very nimble is yeah, definitely a good set. You could use very nimble with vigorous, might be a better set than like the fact we can create and we have reliable recovery with healthy amulet. Zulon actually comes in. Not sure if we'll outspeed it, but I don't want to figure that out. So I'm just gonna swap into vanilla. What's kind of banana? I didn't. Vanilla's icon. Love vanilla. Whoever suggested vanilla, you're awesome. That was chill chop. Yeah, I'm glad I lost all go. Alright. Now I'm gonna go for a mud spatter. Realistically, if I can get my buck up off, I will live against the Zulong. Or he can just sacrifice it, that works too. Yeah, Shang-Chi was a really, really good movie. I would recommend it. I will, okay, before I watched it, I watched a little um, review before it actually came out of them talking about why Shang-Chi is going to be a flop. And I, was, I watched in the entire thing. The guy was basically saying that there's no big movies or nothing that we should be excited for about the Ten... The, Shang-Chi Legend of the Ten Rings that we should be hyped for. Sitting there just like, well, isn't that kind of the point? of a new movie introduce us to a new character that we haven't seen yet you know i'm sitting there just like why is he saying that like we didn't know um we didn't know captain marvel i mean that movie was mediocre it wasn't i don't think that movie was definitely like up there of mediocrity mediocrity that i think mediocrity is, is the society you know what that means but, Probably could have gone into Naima, but I didn't want to risk the fact we would have gone for a Steel Crusher. Because every time I do that, I always die with Naima, so I'd rather not risk it. Because you're going to do it. So. Outburst gets worse the more you use it, buddy. Now, okay, I keep see I have been seeing the debate ever since Oxtrait came out. Energy Orb or Kabunga Coffee? Kabunga Coffee. My personal choice. I wouldn't say it's recommended. Not rec it's, it's recommended. I wouldn't say it's needed, but I would say it's... My head fixed itself. Oh yeah, I'm getting a new headset by the way. Not sure if any of you guys knew that, but I'm getting that. I'm just gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna live this thunderstrike like a boss. That would have been funny. Honestly, if I outspeed it. Chili Chomp. Let's find out if I outspeed it. I outsped it. I had a weird feeling I did. Yeah, my headset's been all, like, really muffled lately. So I'm, I mean, decided to get a new one along with a microphone, which it should. The microphone's coming tomorrow. I don't think. I don't know when the headset's coming. 
who does it, and this is one of the things that you actually do outspeed. But I want to get my buck up off just so we can do some big damage. So I'm going to go for my buck up. That's not going to do much damage to us, which is really, unless it crits us and lowers our range defense, and that would really suck. It did not do anything to us. Perfect. Now, you could use, like, um, a clever one of these if you wanted to play, like, the wall and barter with Vigorous or something. Like, a Vigorous barter. Didn't crit it, unfortunately. Did leave a stinger in it. Hypnotize, miss, please. The last thing he has is Infernic, so we just need to wake up. That's what I want to do. And bloat, maybe. Don't swap out. Hey, I know you understand. Why did he forfeit? Skirt Ninja Kid's still here. Had. And he. Are you kidding? Alright, here we go. Into another battle. Probably gonna be the last one. And. I see it being pretty good here. We did TP it, so we outspeed Metronet every single time. Definitely gonna bring it. Mm. And I saw Gastrio's video on Impersonate Isagul. Um, Ice resist bug? I forgot. I know Spirit doesn't resist it. I'm pretty sure bug is neutral. It said that it's... Check it, I think. I don't remember... I don't really remember exactly what he said. I think along those lines. And got me thinking, like, doesn't it? Can it still hit it hard with vigorous? Right? Adapt assault, because even if you go, even if you go for your um, person it's not gonna do much damage because of adaptive. And since he resists it, I'm gonna lead with it actually. You know what? I did not bring the chicken in this video. It's just been the same team. He's gonna go with Seth. That was a good lead on my part. Okay, I'm happy about that. Let's go for our buck up. Awesome. Miss, 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 miss. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, please crit, please crit, please crit, please crit, please crit, please crit. Oh my god, please crit. Zolan, I believe in you to, mint to, for it, to dodge it again. Dang it. It's not I say Cephalops, is it? Have my buck up up. Have my buck up up, and I'm not swapping out, buddy. Just you know that. This guy is just the most unlucky person. This guy's luck no knows no bounds. Old drain. Well, I wake up probably this turn, right? Please wake me up. Please wake me up. It is not that difficult. Going to Zulong. Sigul. Alright, let's see. Sigul is a check to Bazolin. Look at that check. It's so good. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Another crit. Don't you dare. Don't you dare go over half my health. Don't you dare. Good. We're good. Zulong still does not kill us in this range, and we are gonna be. I just. What did I do? Please tell me I'm unpaused. Okay. And... <gasps> yes! Yes, this is exactly what I wanted to do. He's like, oh, wait, I have to speed it because it's nimble. Even if you're nimble, 200, buddy. <laughs> oh, I'm having a great time. Oh, this is amazing. Well, two things already. Why is it always in the last battle everything goes, like, incredibly well? Let's get it. I knew there's no way I'm gonna have to get a Zulong, you know? It cuffs. You know, I think it was coming, you know? <laughs> After he crit, after I crit him like 11 times, he's gonna crit me back. Oh, I lost his Metronet though, that's what it was, dead. 
All right, I'm gonna mud spatter. Hopefully everything's going well. Don't worry, tomorrow I should have a new microphone. And from there, we can all put this terrible mic behind us. Because I saw what you guys were all saying, and I spent $40 yeah. for everybody. Why do Zulongs do that? Both the Zulongs I fought today have done that. They will Elemental Burst, and then they're going to use Ancient Roar. You should just Ancient Roar out into a Vanolan counter. You should never stay in versus Vanolan if you have a Zulong. It's the most basic knowledge I have ever seen. If that is combative, I'm going to leave the game. Okay. No one uses combative Oxidrake. Like, Ancient Roar and then combative Oxidrake seems like really good. Co Don't you dare predict I go into them. Seal Crusher, go for Bulk Up. Outburst. <laughs> also, I've been thinking, would Venom Chomp on a Hunter even be that, like, useful? I've been thinking about it. If Hunter got Aqua Jaws, it'd be really good for Fire types. Buddy. You know, what if I just let him hit me? What, is it, what if I just let him hit an MRA? And I lose the game because I need Nemuray. I'm not going to. I, I, I care too much about Nemuray. <laughs> uh, well, Bazolin popped off. That's what I'm happy about. If we didn't get critted by that Zulong, we might have been able to Oko it. But yeah, I did a lot of calculations, actually. I still have the set still up here, so I'm going to go to a Zulong. <laughs> if, it, if everything went well, we would have been able to Oko it. Don't swap out. There's no. Oh my god. I don't understand. At this point, humans are confusing me. Oh my god, I swear. If. So, what was the point of sacrificing Cephalops? Oh my god, what was the point of that? There was no point in doing that. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. Bazolin, Marksman, pretty good. Sorry it wasn't gleaming. The thumbnails clickbait, I know. It's terrible, I know. Sorry, what do you want? You're naked. Anyway, um, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!